Well, thank you and good morning <clears throat> to everyone. Here in Arizona, the sun is just starting to come up and we're starting to see some daylight outside, but we're really happy to have everyone joining us for this very first virtual digital communications conference. It is also our 39th annual digital communications conference. So we were going to originally be in Charlotte, North Carolina and as an in-person uh, conference. And of course, the COVID-19 virus has really upended everybody's lives around the world. And so the conference was basically postponed and we went through the, all the planning and work to be able to bring it online. So we're really pleased with how well it's, it's turned out. We have been doing a great deal of planning. We did some practice this week and we've watched other conferences as well and to kind of learn best practices and, and what techniques we would like to use. And one of those techniques that you're going to observe is that we requested the participants, I'm sorry, the presenters to pre-record their presentation. And this had a number of benefits and we kind of learned this from the, um, the QSO Today Expo, which was a couple of months ago, they did that. And so we got to give them credit for that idea. It gave the presenters, I hope, a, a great deal of um, flexibility. One, that, you know, we gave them plenty of heads up, gave them plenty of time to be able to put their presentation together, put their recordings together, perhaps even practice, and taken a couple of opportunities, they can sit there and select the one that they feel is the best and submit that one. And it helps especially those uh, presenters that we have around the world. It's really exciting. We have per 20 plus talks available today and tomorrow. And we're really fortunate and, and glad to have a number of presenters from around the world. We're going to have some, a presentation from Japan, France, Germany, Canada, Italy, uh, just to name a few, I may have missed one or two there, and it allowed those folks, of course, to be able to put together their presentation in their time zone, because there's one thing about a virtual conference that we're not able to overcome, and that's time zones. Uh, we went ahead, since this was going to be in uh, Charlotte, North Carolina, which is in the eastern time zone of the United States, we decided we would anchor this virtual conference on that time zone. Who knows, maybe if we do this more in the future and if this is very successful, uh, we can find a time zone perhaps that's a little more um, centralized. Uh, but again, it's, it's kind of a challenge with a worldwide audience, but what we can do is for those presenters, we can schedule them at times that are more convenient for them in their time zone. Um, we encourage you to interact. Um, that's one thing about a virtual uh, conference versus an in-person conference is, you know, the, 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 there's a lot to be said about being able to uh, shake hands and, and talk and have lunch with others. It's a great part of the in-person experience that, that is the Digital Communications Conference. Of course, number one is the technical talks, which is what can certainly we can bring to you with the virtual conference here. Um, so the interaction will be limited to the chat window. So that'll be your window into the conference. Uh, and of course, you'll notice that at the very bottom, you can either send uh, your um, chats to the panelists. Um, the panelists are those that you see on the screen. Attendees are the ones that are observing, uh, logged in and uh, and observing. <laughs> um, so you can kind of control who they go to, but uh, feel free to use that. When it comes time for questions and answers, this will be your way of asking the question. The moderator will gather the questions off of the chat window and then present those in their voice to the presenter, and that'll allow the presenter to uh, answer back in their voice as well. 
we're going to have a couple of situations here where the presenter themselves is unable to join us. So we will play their presentation and we'll allow some interaction and some chat. Uh, we're going to stay on schedule and we're not going to get ahead of schedule. This will allow people who are perhaps uh, busy during the day, but would like to observe the one or two or three talks that they find interesting. So we're going to keep that on the schedule. So the schedule as we're going to run it is on the uh, DCC website. Let me uh, bring some URLs up so you can see. So here's our welcome. But I wanted to be able to show you these URLs here. And the schedule itself is up on the DCC website. Uh, the papers, I'm very happy to say that the presentations or the call for papers that we put out earlier in the year yielded 14 papers. So the printed proceedings is over 230 pages long, which is really exciting. There's some really exciting papers in there. If you'd like to see the titles of each of those papers, we put those up on the Tapper website as well. There will all be also be a link up there where you can click on and order a printed version of it. Right now, the price of that is set at $9 plus shipping. And of course the shipping depends upon whatever shipping method that you choose and wherever you're located. And also we do have a survey set up on uh, the website too. So during the conference, if there's something you'd like to comment on, jump over there to the survey and fill it in. Uh, you can fill it in anonymously or you can enter your name and information and we can get back to you. And of course I encourage you to go back there as often as you want to or need to uh, throughout the conference. Let us know how we're doing and what you like, what you dislike about it, and is this something you'd like to for us to, to see going into the future. And uh, this is pretty exciting to us uh, being able to put this on for you. And we will for next year and that's the year of 2021. And of course, it all depends upon how this COVID virus plays out and whether or not we are able to get back to um, you know, what we considered normal in the past. And if, in other words, if we're able to get back together again in large crowds, if that's, if that's allowed, then we will be back in Charlotte, North Carolina for an in-person DCC. And that's scheduled in uh, the third weekend of September. And of course, as time grows nearer that time, we will um, provide more and more details. So of course, Everything's still up in the air. It's about a year away, but I wanted to kind of give you a heads up that uh, we basically worked with the conference hotel that, that we're working with. Uh, it's the Hilton Airport Conference uh, Hotel that's near the Charlotte Airport. And um, we moved this year's conference to next year's. And of course, we shall see how that plays out. Well, I think that's about everything that I wanted to be able to present and say welcome and thank you. And thank you to all of our presenters. And we hope that we have a very exciting time for you all. And um, uh, we got about three more minutes before we start the first talk. So if you have any questions or comments, please put them in the chat box. With that, I'll give a big 73s out to everyone. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Steve, would you please sign in on Slack? I'll do that. Thank you. Uh, it's a, a few brief notes on how we're doing this. We're using the Zoom webinar platform. We've got a, a 500 attendee license because clearly we've gone over 100. We're using Slack as a back channel communications mechanism, totally independent of Zoom for all the moderators, showrunners, and, uh, and Tapper board members. And with that, um, do, we, uh, do we have questions? I don't see uh, any coming any, here. Yeah, I don't no. see anything on the chat right now. So go ahead and right. queue up the first talk, Nathaniel's talk. <sighs> 
that's that's what it is. Good morning, Nathaniel. We do have a question, uh, George. Good where morning. Where the slides will be available? So, oh, okay. So, in the process of gathering all the data uh, for this, we had the presenters upload their MP4 video and their slide deck as a PDF. Uh, immediately following the conference, the, the PDF slide decks will be uh, available by link uh, from the Tapper website. And when I say immediately, give us a couple days, you, you know, we'll, we'll be worn out. Um, and also, we can provide immediately the pre recorded videos, but it'll take us a little while to slice and dice. Uh, by talk to include the QA session. And, and that's what uh, Jason Johnson of Ham Radio 2.0 is uh, doing for us. And of course, the YouTube stream pre recorded will be available for people to be able to peruse those, but that will not be sliced and diced by talks. So, Nathaniel, I'm about to turn on, share my computer sound, and ladies and gentlemen, here we go.